and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fortune's Treasure. This is going to be our next meme tier Monday deck. All right, so this one was a little bit of a challenge. This was um, the challenge was to this was a donation deck uh, for me to build it with a deck that had Misfortune, Twisted Fate, and Lost Riches in the deck. Um, so what we did is so I put together you know kind of a, a Lost Riches and Shipwreck Hoarder deck. And, you know, a deck that's kind of focused on the treasures there. Um, Misfortune's in here more for the theme, right? Because, you know, Bilgewater card and, uh, you know, Misfortune's always looking for treasure on her boat and stuff. So that's that's what we have Misfortune in here. As far as, like, Misfortune in, like, the actual gameplay may not work as well. We have, like, one Jaw Hunters that can challenge and get the one point of damage. You know, who knows? I don't know. It'll be a, it'll be a good three drop. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's why if you're like, why do we have misfortune here? Well, that's that's why. Because it's fortune's treasure. And that's why. So we're going to be uh, built around shipwreck order, though, and uh, lost riches. So if you don't know lost riches, this is draw a treasure. If there aren't any to draw, you create two treasures in your deck instead. And of course, shipwreck order, whenever you summon this, you toss two and create two treasures in your deck. So we're going to want to like maybe make some treasures with shipwreck order, draw them with lost riches, you know, kind of do that kind of stuff. All right, so we're going to need to find Shipwreck Order. So we have two Lure of the Depths in here that will, it says, uh, you know, draw a sea monster. Well, the only sea monster in our deck is going to be Shipwreck Order to draw. And then, of course, it will also reduce the cost of the sea monster by one. So Shipwreck Order will only cost six instead of seven. If we have both Lure of the Depths, you know, we make it cost only five. That can definitely help playing it a little bit earlier. Also, if we have Shipwreck Order in play, we can kill Shipwreck Hoarder with Chronicler of Ruin to revive it, and then we get another summon. So then we get to toss two and create two more uh, treasures as well. And then also, if our Shipwreck Hoarder dies, like from Chronicler of Ruin or just from like them killing Shipwreck Hoarder, because they're like, oh, wow, that's a 7-5. i got to kill it. And then they kill it. Then we have Miscall that can bring it back and get us some more treasures. We have some like cool nifty stuff here with Shadow Isles with that. Um, we also have Stalking Shadows is another way for us to find um, the uh, the Shipwreck Order. So we can go find some treasures with Stalking Shadows as well. And that's kind of what our deck's all about. So we'll uh, see if we can make a bunch of treasures and then cast treasures. That's going to be the goal. This is Fortune's Treasure. It's meme tier day. So we're playing on over in normal for our five games. All right. As your old kindred. So we'll just keep Misfortune and Mulligan, these other things. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep a Vengeance. Vengeance is, will just be to kill Kindred, but I feel like killing Kindred will be very important. Um, which invoke card is worse, Immortal Fire or the Elusive Dragon? So the the eight mana or the nine mana one? I don't think really one is worse than the either other. I think that it kind of depends on the situation and like the uh, what the game is like. They can both uh, like they're both amazing, but. Like, depending on what kind of, like, removal and interaction your opponent has, kind of determines which uh, one you want to play, or what one to have. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. We do have Petty Officer Twisted Fate combo in here. Puppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doggos are about to bark. Puppy. Okay, so they're going to be drawing two cards. So I'm going to go ahead and just play this Misfortune, because this is just going to be, you know, a two for one. Keep them for drawing those cards. Get rid of those things. Because now they're they're left with four cards. Uh, 
I got my five. Okay, so that's why I have my vengeance. Never lost a fair game. Play one. Soak it in. The hunt begins. Okay, or I could just use Black Spear. That's not bad either, and save Vengeance, but... Yeah, it's not that bad either. Because Vengeance takes up my whole turn. No, I'm just gonna Vengeance. Ooh, took it all. So basically I figured that if I cast Vengeance first, then they play something that blocks, then I attack and they block. But I was basically I was planning on just attacking with everything. Once they block with Kindred, then I would... Um, uh, then I would Vengeance the Kindred after it blocks. And I'll, I don't really need to play this Apples Aristocrat. I'll just save my spell mana. We got Stalking Shadows over here. Okay. I guess maybe I should have Apples Aristocrated. So this is a good black spear. Where are you? What's that noise? But I'm not really scared of Elise, to be honest. Much more scared of Kindred. So I want to save the black spear for Kindred. Yay, lure the dubs. I must get out of here. All right, taking it all. So that does mean that they could have the combo, and if they do have the combo, um, I'm just gonna lose the game. Looks like a very nice black spear. I'm one mana short. One mana short from Powder Keg. Um, you know, Powder Keg, kill Elise with Vile Feast and Unspeakable Horror. Let's just do this. Let's see what uh, Nightfall card we get. Present Guardian. That's a good Nightfall card. That's an egg. Did it move? So we still got our two treasures in our deck. Ooh, we can draw a treasure. Come, stay a while. I guess this thing is burst speed. I should have just done that first, probably. Ah! 
So anytime they have Ledros, I lose. That's good. That's not Ledros. <laughs> Got a 2 5. Uh, that's not a very good treasure. Not at this point of the game, not a very good treasure. Nah. Well, they're not slamming it. So looks like they got. Ledros? Wait, you can hit the same card? Did they change that? I didn't know you could hit the same card. Is that a new thing? Yeah, is, is that a new thing? Because now that means that it's not it's only 50% to work instead of 60% to work if you can hit the same thing. I didn't want the Crescent Guardian just to die to one, you know, like the one damage things. Yeah, you don't want to kill Ledros. Yeah, I don't I don't want to I don't want to kill Ledros and put it back in their hand and let them one one shot combo kill me again. If I can avoid it. I'm hoping no withering whale. Let it happen. Okay, a couple of rummage, and find nothing. Concede? No, nope, that card doesn't do it. No. Okay, that doesn't do it. Exact lethal. Got him. The power of one ones. All right, Freljord, Sharima with Talia, Lysandra, Sivir. Blackspear does seem very good against Talia and Lysandra and basically Sivir. Got to figure out how to get rid of spell shield first, but. We can do that. Grumps. Old Grumps. Grog if you work, burn if you don't. <laughs> Dredge Dredgers actually kind of works for us. Usually when you, when you hit Dredge Dredgers in a Petty Officer deck, you're like, oh man, that's just a little one one. But I don't know, that kind of works for us. What do you get rid of, though? A Lure, a Vile Feast, and... Well, we couldn't get rid of a Dredgers. No prey. They are getting another Grump in just a minute. The second Grump. All that is mine. Is mine. All 
Alright, so we'll bust up the spell shield with this. Cast Lure of the Depths, I could play the Shipwreck Horde the next turn. Oh no! Ancient Hourglass, that card's so good. I should've just blocked the 5-3 though with my Misfortune, the other 5-3. Because I'm fine with that trade anyway, I, I should've just made that block. But I didn't. <laughs> the Chronicler of Ruin killed the Misfortune to keep it from leveling up. Trick is it's pretty silly. Maybe I should just be waiting for the shipwreck order. I just want to, like, attack and hopefully have them block some of this stuff. You know, I want to make some trades. I'm scared. That's all. Um, Radiant Guardian. I believe Radiant Guardian is a... Maybe it's a... So, play effects and summon effects don't happen... Okay, okay, I understand your question though with Radiant Guardian. So if you if you have con if you have played concurrent timelines and then you cast Radiant Guardian, will your next thing have Life Steal and Tough? And I don't think so. No, I don't think she would. Like if you have like buffs on the card that are like in hand, like those buffs get transferred to the next thing. But I don't think that counts as a, a in hand buff. This would be a great challenge if this works. That's like maximizing your stats. A 4-1 traded for a 7-4. That is maximizing your stats, that's for sure. Okay. And this is why I didn't play the Abyssal Eye first. So this thing stayed alive at 7-2 so I can gold card and kill it. I guess maybe we'll have to see what they give it. Spell Shield. So I could red card and bust up a spell shield. They have not leveled a champion. Let me just draw a trigger. I'm still ten cards away from deep. It's a ways. Oh, right, that thing's taking two damage. Oh, no. Oh, no, I forgot about that. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Wow. That was bad. Yep. So many little things in this game. Okay, we're playing against all Shirima and we're playing in normal. That means our opponent is definitely playing like three Ascended's Rise. Because that's all that's all that happens to us with these all Sh the mono Shirima decks in normal is we get like multiple Ascended Rises every single time. So how do we not lose two Ascended Rise? I think that's the question. That's the main question. I was kind of hoping they'd have either like Doomkeeper or Rockhopper. That's why I want. That's why I kept the Vile Feast. I wanted one of those two cards for trouble. It to be played. Never fell. It only my return. <laughs> the Shape Stone was the the last card they drew. Mm. 
So that's alright. As y'all know, Misfortune's not really critical to our deck. We got a good amount of damage on this Azir. That is important. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name! Jerimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. Who's with me? Okay, so I'm planning on playing the Lure of the Depths this next turn so that I can go with the treasure thing turn after. Alright, maybe not Lure of the Depths. I don't know, like it makes sense to miss call. Uh, maybe to save miss call. Alright, final answer. We're gonna do this first. Dusk Rider. Shape stones. All right, so Zier's still a second away. How good to serve the Emperor once more. Let it help you remember. Probably not that good. I don't like my options. Six, seven, eight, nine mana next turn. You pay. I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Because I want to have Miss Call plus Shipwreck Order the next turn. This is I knew they were going to play that card. Oh, man. <laughs> we're not going to sit through it again, but... That was just the perfect time, and I ran out of Vile Feast and Unspeakable Horrors. <laughs> Alright. Same thing. Triple Ascend is Rise. Okay, we got to be able to kill the champions, and I didn't do a good enough job doing that before. Lost Riches... I guess gets mulliganed. Hmm. The desert by my side. I like ruination a lot. Could be very useful. turn three is here. Gosh, that card's impossible to kill. So they had two shape stones and two ancient hourglasses to save it last time. Could never kill that thing. All right, we're gonna make two treasures in our deck. Find some treasures. Maybe the deal five to everything treasure. Miss call. Deal that sounds interesting. Blue as the serpentine. This does allow me to cast vengeance next turn. How good 
It's like they only play like four cards. this works and not ancient hourglass this time Yeah, I mean, at least it cost them two more mana than what Hourglass would have, but I mean, it's still... Still not great. If they cast Ascendant's Rise, we lose. Levels this thing up. I really don't want them leveling up the Rannikton and getting 10 levels on that Sun Disk. Never mind. It's just lethal now. I guess never mind, I stay alive at two, right? Because the the healing. Is that eight? Of course the Renekton is much, much more scary, but can't let them level it up. Mind if you do. Okay, Ezreal LeBlanc. It's a deck we played like 10 days ago or so, two weeks ago. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun to play. Let's see. I like our hand though. Like, you know, the, the Lure of the Depths grabs the other sea monster. I could see him only getting the Stalking Shadows, but of course I like Petty Officer, Twisted Fate. Um, I guess they could have Marauders. The version that I, I played before didn't have Marauders. But I guess that's possible. You know, I remember it was a Tribeam and Probulator deck. Marauders do help Tribeam and Probulator. I need just a moment. Students, a good one drop. They're playing LeBlanc Ezreal. Yeah, like Twisted Fate is so good. <laughs> it makes like playing their their cards pretty tough. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. That was the one they could play. That was the one they could play. Alright, 
Kill Cascade's cool. Um, is... End round. Is this card everywhere? Yeah. Sea Monster Allies everywhere. Checking for whenever Jaw Hunters makes another. Feed myself with four mana. Yeah, I'm just going with the Vial over the Pale Cascade so my Pale Cascade can protect the Wizard Fate if they were going to be getting the free Mystic Shot. I assume Twisted Fate's going to be dying still, but... Hey, Dark Cleric. Hope you're having a good day. I could see me going with the gold card right here and then having the Vile Feast. I kind of didn't change my thinking based on having, uh, based on drawing that Twisted Fate. That very well could have been my new plan. Should have been, you know. At this point, I wish that's what I would have done was gold card. One shot, all skill. Mm, that's gotta hurt. Firing. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Ah, that black spear would be so good. Yeah, miss calls pretty great. Ezreal's about to level up. Let's see, so I go Twisted Fate, Gold Card, they... Guile. And then I play Jaw Hunters. And then they do something else that's cool. Never lost a fair game. They don't know what they're up against. It's better than Guile. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. This is a real trouble now. Just that one turn. That one turn, if I just simply... If I would have... I The turn that I played the Shipwreck Quarter, because that was like my plan, I drew the Twisted Fate. If I would have just stopped for a second, play the twist, Twisted Fate Gold card, this Ezreal, and then deal the one damage to it. That would have helped out a bunch. That's the problem. Gotcha. That is the problem right there. Two 
two Black Spears gone. Uh, of course, Black Spear doesn't really kill Ezreal anymore, though. Like, just the Mystic Shot and the Guile will do five damage to me. We're probably dead from here. I played too fast that one turn. I need to be able to gold card. Valfi's kill that Ezreal. This, I don't have an answer to this elusive. Yeah, we had two Black Spears down at the bottom of the deck. You know, we tossed two Black Spears. That's unfortunate. Just the Terror of the Tides plan just doesn't really work against Guile. Alright, deal 5 damage to all other units. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. I wanted the other treasure. Um, make 5 random cards in hand, and hopefully one of the random cards kills the Ezreal. Nope. Our deck has seven treasures out of the 23 cards. That's cool. But. Oh, yeah, it's true. I could have gone keg into Kill Breaker. Would not have mattered, though. They would have uh, still killed me. But yeah, I guess I could have gone that. No, they they would have just killed me before we would have killed Ezreal. All right, so I think I, I may have had the tools to win that game. I just had to I had to kill that Ezreal whenever I had the chance. Whenever the board was clear, I drew that second Twisted Fate. I had to go Gold Card and then Vile Feasted at that point. My deck didn't really help me out with both Black Spears being at the bottom, unfortunately. Because um, it was unlikely that they had a second Ezreal in hand from like all the cards that we saw. Plus, we saw them play an Ezreal's Mystic Shot before that. So it was unlikely that they had another Ezreal in hand. But that's how it goes. That was a, a good close game. We got to do some uh, treasure stuff. At least we got to play a whole bunch of Shipwreck Orders. Um, so that was, that was kind of cool. But we didn't get to really wreak the benefit of that. Um, unfortunately, our treasure deck, we cast zero treasures in our treasure deck in the five games. And that's not a good sign. That's not what you want to do in your treasure deck. But we gave it a shot. Um, it's kind of difficult to build around, you know, Lost Riches, Twist of Fate, Misfortune. And we gave it a shot, but unfortunately we had, um, you know, we had a couple opponents that had the level three champions. They had the Ascended Rise. And that kind of stuff. And lots of great Sharima protection. I think we played against, what, five Shape Stones in two games or something like that. Oh, well. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But that's it's meme tier day. We're not expecting tons and tons of wins. I was, I'm a little, I'm just disappointed I didn't get to play more treasures, right? Like that's, it's meme tier day. That's what we wanted to do was play a lot of treasures with that. So unfortunately we didn't get to do it, but we did get to um, play a bunch of shipwreck orders that last game. So that was kind of cool. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me know what you think of the deck, um, what you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday or or uh, the upcoming patch, which is going to be probably out tomorrow or may maybe even out uh, pretty soon after y'all watch this. Uh, let me know what you want to happen there with that patch update. All right, but that's it here for Fortune's Treasure. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.